Today we'll look at how to unlock some great features in SimCenter 3D. Here we have an assembly fem open and you'll note that by default the CAD models are not loaded. It's easy to load the CAD models just by right clicking on them but if you have a lot of components it may take a while to load up all the CAD in this fashion. One of the reasons why this is important is if you have a lot of shell models where you're inheriting the thickness from the mid-surface, when you go to solve, you'll see the model setup check, if we have it on, will give us some errors, saying that there's no thickness defined for the shell mesh. When in fact there is thickness defined, it's just coming from the mid-surface, and since the CAD is not loaded, it is not able to get that mid-surface data. So just to review how that mid-surface thickness data can be inherited, we'll open up the component FEM and edit the mesh associated data. And there you can see that we're inheriting the thickness from the mid-surface. So to automatically load all of the CAD associated with all of our component FEMs, there's a nice customer default here to automatically load associated parts for component FEMs. Now, whenever you make a change to customer defaults, in order for those changes to take effect, we need to restart. So let's go ahead and close and reopen. And now when we open our assembly FEM, we'll see that all of the CAD will open automatically, so we don't have to load it manually. So here, just to double check, let's go ahead and expand our component FEMS and the CAD underneath it, and you can see that it's all loaded. Which means that now when we go to solve, if we have shell component finite element models that have mid-surface thickness inherited from the mid-surface. We don't get any model setup check errors and we get our solution to run successfully. So here let's go ahead and open up the results. We'll look at one of the subcase results for displacement and we can see that that ran successfully. Alright, the next customer default we'll take a look at is also on the general section in the FE model create tab and it has to do with assigning names for polygon bodies coming from the master and idealized parts. So in this way we won't get names for our polygon bodies being something generic like polygon body 1, polygon body 2. It will actually bring the name from whatever the component CAD name is. So here you can see that for both of our component FEMS there that we have our polygon body names coming from the CAD. All right, the next customer default we'll take a look at is for geometry free and stitched edges. And we have display turned on for both of those. And this is particularly helpful when mid-surfacing and shell meshing, when you want to ensure that you've got a congruent mesh across a stitched joint to ensure that that joint has been stitched, we can see now the display is cyan for those areas where we have stitched the model and magenta in those areas where it's not. Alright, the next customer default we'll take a look at is under meshing. And here we have the ability to, uh, on the general tab, to use polygon body names for the meshes. So this works particularly well with our earlier customer default where we were getting the names from the CAD for the polygon bodies. So now that will bring those polygon body names forward into the meshes that are created on them.
The next set of customer defaults are under the shell thickness data, where we can inherit the thickness from the mid-surface. If we choose add element centroid, then we're able to calculate offset from the mid-surface data in version 2206 and later. So here we can plot that thickness contour or show it as uh, 3D thickness and offset. The next customer default we'll be looking at is under Nastran. So we'll go to pre-post Nastran and select the solver parameters tab. And under there, the first one we'll look at is additional keywords. This has to do with shared memory parallel processing. We have a keyword parallel equals and we can set that number equal to something less than or equal to the number of cores that we have on our computer. And the way you can check to see how many cores you have is by going into system information and looking under the processor line there. Here we can see I've got six cores. So I'll set mine to something less than six. So I'll have a few other cores left for doing other things while Nastran is running. The next uh, customer default we'll take a look at is the solution monitor. I highly recommend turning that on. That's, that will show us the progress of Nastran while it's running. And also the solver command window. I like to have that shown as another check to ensure that Nastran is running. There are many cool features in customer defaults. I hope you've enjoyed learning about my favorites.